This video is an update on the disgrace principal who stole $8 million. Hi guys, welcome to What's What Jamaica News TV. If this is your first time here, please make sure that you subscribe. If it's not your first time here and you have not yet subscribed, please do so right now. And now for the news. Do you remember Sully Ward Brown that I reported on a couple of weeks ago? The school principal who is implicated in an alleged land fraud in St. Catherine. Now she has been granted $2 million bail. Questionable transactions involving her have also increased to $8 million. $8 million. During the bail application in St. Catherine Parish on Monday, defense attorney Deborah Martin said, Ward Brown has a fixed place of abode and would turn up for her trial. And she used that to base on that. So she will turn up. May I tell you, this woman is a church woman, you know. She claims that she a Christian, you know. And yet still, she in a church and a follow person. She a run, she a head she a head um battle it's she a head cook and battle washer in a church and at the same time she's stealing from people who is worse off than her and not only that according to the prime minister is the clansman gang so you tell me so she a follow person and me in a mix up with the clansman gang so the defense attorney told the court that the principal also has two teenage children depending on her and her church now has the responsibility of them that means uh, it seems as if she's a single parent and she never take that into consideration so when me mix up myself in a crime it will affect my children not only financially but emotionally are those kids going to recover from such a thing knowing that their mother is plastered all over the world that she's a thief and what if she end up in jail what's going to happen to those children Had, did she think about it parish judge desri allen asked if the complainants were still in the area and it was revealed that they left because maybe she never want to give her the bail if she knows that her life is in danger. Prosecutor says the matters are serious and will take time while investigations continue. The judge then offer bail in the sum of two million. So, uh, you know, when the, um, the judge asks these questions before she grant the bail, and ruled that Ward Brown must report to the Portmore Police Station on Thursdays and Fridays. A stop order was placed against her at the ports so she can run out, she can run left Jamaica and go anywhere. Ward Brown is to reappear in court on February 17, 2023. So at least she will get the time to spend with her children over Christmas. But it's going to be a Hell of a miserable Christmas, which she called on upon herself. So the matter will again be mentioned in February. Allegations in court are that the principal collected monies from several residents in Clifton for the sale of government-owned land adjoining the Clifton community. So she never knows her government land she herself. The police had initially reported that five people came forward with claims that they made payments totaling $4 million. During Monday's hearing, the court heard that the number of complainants have increased to 12, with the total amount of money involved now is up to approximately $8 million. And you'll never know, maybe another 12 before she can go to um, jail or before February, another 12 might come because some people might be afraid when you hear this, then talk about Klansman gang. There might be a lot more people out there, but yet still they're afraid to come forward and talk. 
This is just ridiculous. How can you go? To, how can she sleep at night, knowing that she is involved in robbing so many people, people who might even be in a worse position than her? So, earlier this month, Prime Minister Andrew Holness announced. The, dem the demolition of unfinished structures located, located in Greater Bernard Lodge area, which was carried out. He's another one also. Because before him demolish the people them building, him should have did wait until he get to the stage where him can sit down with the people them or the investigation wait until the investigation is carried out because the people them never captured the land they bought the land yes they were stupid enough to don't realize that they might buy stolen land but at the same time they are humans too and they probably work hard for the money that them use. So maybe he could have worked out a different arrangement and resell the land to them instead of knocking down the people, them houses. One of them said it cost them more than a million dollars to buy the piece of land. So, according to wholeness, he also told the House of Representatives that, that the Klansman criminal gang based on Spanish town was linked to the scam. My gosh, he's heartless also, just as heartless in a different way than this woman and are the people them who is behind the whole thing with her. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel. Kindly remember to like, subscribe and share my video and hit the notification bell so you will be notified of all new videos.